there. Welcome to Healthy Helpings TV, the show that makes fast food healthy and healthy food fast. My name's Michelle and welcome back for another year. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, my own take on uh, chili con carne. I've got a pretty good recipe that I think I like to do, using lots of fresh spices and beans and stuff to add in fibre and nice lean meat for protein. But I was chatting with a friend today and um, she was cleaning out her pantry because she was about to head overseas and offered me some goji berries. I'm the last person to jump on the bandwagon as far as fad foods go and I've steered right away from the goji berries. But I did have someone ask me, hey, can you do a recipe with goji berries? And they're meant to have great antioxidant powers and things like that. Um, that's what they look like right there. And that's going to just add a beautiful tartness, which you do find, I think, in, in Mexican food, just kind of right there in the background. So here's an idea on how you might want to incorp incorporate goji berries into your diet. So I'm going to start off by dry toasting some spices. So over a medium heat in your pan, uh, put in your uh, cumin, coriander seeds, and dried chili. Now what this is going to do is just reinvigorate all those flavours. Now grab a pestle and mortar or a spice grinder and tip them all in. I'm just going to fish that chili out and put it in a bowl of hot water just to rehydrate. Okay, so once you ground your spices up, what you want to do is just chuck in a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of your pan. And I've chopped up some onions and some garlic here and I'm just going to sauté those off. Now I'm using a non-stick saucepan here, which means that I eliminate some of the fat. While we're waiting for those onions to soften up, I'm just going to chop up a couple of tomatoes. Now you could use tin tomatoes, um, but these tomatoes are fresh and in season and so dirt cheap at the moment that I definitely want to be using them. Okay, so this chili's been soaking now for about five minutes. Split it open and discard any of the seeds that are in there because that's what's going to make it really hot. Take about half of it and just chop it up. And any that's left, I'm just going to throw back into that hot water because we're going to use that hot water later as a bit of a, a stock. Next, what I'm going to do is just chuck the spices back in. And then we'll throw in those tomatoes and the chili. Now you can vary how much chili you want to have in yours, just depending on how spicy your tastes are. Chili is a great thing to just temporarily get your adrenaline going and your metabol uh, metabolism up. Okay, so once all that tomato and onions are nice and soft, I'm just going to put it aside for a second and we're just going to brown the mince. So just leave a bit of the moisture in the bottom of your pan there and if you need to add any more oil, just go right ahead. Now I'm using really lean top side that I asked my butcher to mince for me. Um, and that way you just definitely make sure that you're not getting a high fat meat. Now if you don't have a butcher who'll do that, just buy some top side mince, uh, top side steak, and you can put it in your blender and make your own lean mince and that way you know exactly what's going into it. So once you brown the mince and allow it to develop all the flavours, you can then put your tomato mixture back in. I'm also going to add in just a pinch of cinnamon in here just to give it that little bit of extra flavour dimension. So I'm then adding in the tomatoes and the onions and the spices that we took out before. I'm also going to throw in from that water that I was soaking the chilies in probably about two tablespoons worth. Now if you find that um, it's too dry, you can always add more in later. Now we're going to add in the goji berries. The goji berries have that beautiful uh, tart tomato -y flavour which I think is going to go perfectly in here. A friend gave me these the other day, she was cleaning out her pantry and said that she'd been using them in bolognese and I never tasted them before, I had a taste and I went, oh that'll be perfect for healthy helpings today. So in they go. I'm imagining those will just um, swell up really nicely. Uh, I've also now got some refried beans. Now despite their name, they're actually quite low in fat, so don't worry about using those. Now if you are trying to reduce the carbs in this meal, halve the amount of refried beans possibly and put in some almond meal instead, because that'll help thicken it without adding the extra carbs. We're going to stir that round and let that simmer just for five minutes. While we're waiting for that to simmer, I'm just going to flip my board over and prepare all the garnishes. So I've got some cilantro here, which I'm just going to roughly chop up. 
And of course, my most favorite ingredient, an avocado, a great source of uh, healthy fats and um, surprisingly high in fiber, actually, I discovered the other day. Next, I'm just going to throw in some red kidney beans. You can use a mix of pinto beans, red kidney beans, garbanzo beans, whatever your favourite and what you've got in the store cupboard. These are canned ones. Depending on uh, how liquid your chilli is, you might want to simmer it with the lid on or with the lid off. Uh, just give everything a quick stir around and chuck those beans in. And I reckon probably another five to ten minutes and you're ready to go. Mm, both hot and heat hot, but absolutely delicious. Um, very simple to throw together. Chili is a great nutritious meal full of protein and fiber and good fats if you throw in the avocado as well. And well, you've got the added benefit of using those goji berries for the antioxidants. Um, I don't know whether they, will, they work as far as all their miraculous properties, but they do taste really good in the chilli, so give that a shot. Thanks to Pippa over at battlecat.net for that suggestion. Uh, this has been Healthy Helpings TV. You can find us at healthyhelpingstv.com. Uh, if you've enjoyed the show and you're watching on a subscription service, don't forget to tell your friends and give us a bit of a thumbs up. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.